So how come we don't have any of this? You're old. Past it. Dinosaurs. Excuse me. We're Wall Street investment bankers with a long respected reputation for making our clients very wealthy. That's what I mean. Dinosaurs. You're too big, heavy, and old. You can't see the new species. It's going to wipe you out. Lucky we have you. <laughs> That's not luck. It's good business. It's what will keep you alive when your fellow dinosaurs go extinct. So where did you meet this guy? In a bar. A bar? <laughs> what, a geek bar? <laughs> Something like that. What are the hit on girls with the length of their code? <laughs> I do my research. Find the places they hang out. Get friendly with our man. They don't see many girls like me in there. Good girl. Clever. <laughs> That's why you pay me so much. And then? Show interest. Get cozy. By the end of the evening, he's hooked. And now he's here for you to reel him in. Come in, Nat. Mr. Diamond, meet Mr. Scanlon. Good evening, Mr. Scanlon. Lloyd Diamond. I've been hearing a lot about you. <laughs> Sit down. People don't like bankers, have you noticed that? I'm not a banker. <laughs> I don't like bankers myself. I don't trust them. Would you like some champagne? I am not thirsty. Oh, you will be. Why did you ask me here? What do you know about high frequency trading? How much do you know? What most people know, I guess. In my profession, technology has always helped us do our job better and faster. Counting machines, computers, the internet. This is just the next gizmo to make more money quicker. This isn't technology. It's natural selection. Mm. Welcome to Darwinism, Mr. Diamond. <laughs> and Mr. Diamond. Can you give us some specifics? High frequency trading, or HFT, uses ultra-fast computers and complex algorithms to trade securities quicker than the next firm. The humans don't actually make the trades. Computers do in just a few milliseconds. Species change. Sure, sure, we know all about super fast computers. What's so special about this guy? You'll see when you calm down. Drop the attitude, lady. You'll work for us, remember? If you say so. All I know about him is what I heard at this seminar up in Harvard. Quote, multinationals have become the governments of the respective countries. The actual elected governments are their clients, their core business. Diamond and Diamond, with their billion dollar corporation, have almost complete control of our economic and political lives. Diamond and Diamond is not a corporation. It's a fucking civilization. Is that what you call something that wants to control the world market? A civilization? Civilizations have an unfortunate tendency to decline and fall. This is 2014. Nation states are dead. They don't have the power anymore. They're owned. In 10 years of multinationals loan 90% of the world. That's what I said. <laughs> Who do you think you are, Mr. Scanlon? Where do you think this country would be without us? We were bankers before you were even born. You get the point? I think he gets the point much better than you, Lloyd. Mr. Diamond. Look, Whatever. I don't have the time. You like money, Mr. Scanlon? Sure. So do we. So tell us, 
How can we soak billions of dollars out of Wall Street? The girl says, you have some special expertise. Tell us something that we don't know. Algorithms. Algorithms. Algorithms now control more than 70% of the U.S. financial transactions. Most decisions to buy and sell assets are made by machines. Algorithms are now so powerful, they're the new third player on the planet. Nature, humanity, algorithms, from dinosaurs to men to AI. Hmm. Is that a new corporation? <laughs> Artificial intelligence, but we're not quite there yet. There are still a few dinosaurs who are yet to become extinct. You're losing me. The global financial system is built around the electronic net that we've thrown over the world. Assets are traded at the speed of light. The system gives stupendous profits to those with the largest processing capacities and the fastest speeds, but speed is key. So how do we get the fastest speeds? You dig an 825 mile trench for a fiber optic cable from Chicago to New York, tunneling through the Allegheny Mountains. Instead of using the regular railway lines like the regular old communication networks do. But that would cost a fortune. A fortune is a relative word, Mr. Diamond, as you, of all people, should know. It's an exclusive line. Your own private jet on the web. So how do we make money? Speed makes you a predator. You outmaneuver the herbivores. Herbivores what? Herbivores, the slow-moving mutual and pension funds where most of the little guys are. And how do you know all this? Because I'm young. My synapses still work. Oh, and I hang out at geek bars. <laughs> so before the herbivore sees a change in market position, the predator makes trades milliseconds faster leaving the herbivore with much less than they would have made. Now this is done hundreds of thousands of times in small slices. Okay, I'm getting it. Each slice pocketed by the predator is a penny or less, but when taken together, they add up to billions of dollars. Of course you're stealing from the middle classes. Money tied up in mutual funds, college endowment funds, pension funds. A penny here, and there, and there, and there. They'll never know, it, will they, Donald? And who gives a fuck mm -hmm. anyway? It's legal. Or at least the trades are too small for the government to take any interest. Mm -hmm. So when do we start? Yes, that's just it, isn't it? You don't. We do. There's very few people that know how to do this stuff. I'm one of them. Where do you get the money to build your tunnel? From you. You lend it to us at a favorable rate, of course, and then we pay it back once the billions start flowing in. Fuck you. We're the corporation, the bank, the fucking civilization. We make the billions, not you. <laughs> not anymore, Donald. Diamond and dinosaur. Dinosaur and diamond. You wouldn't know a high-frequency transaction if it jumped up and ripped out your throat. The future's with the alga tweakers, the frequency freaks, the web predators, hidden in the dark matter of our virtual worlds, unknown and unimpeachable. Our brains melding oh so slowly with the artificial brains we create. Deal? <laughs> well, oil be forked. <laughs> <laughs>